special about spring in Japan. We are throwing my boss slash really close friend Carla a going away picnic, but it's a surprise. She thinks only me and Layla are coming, but actually we invited like a whole bunch of people and our old coworkers and stuff. And we're gonna have like a huge picnic in Shinjuku Gyoen. So yeah, I'm on my way to the grocery store. I'm gonna make sandwiches. It's the only thing I can think of that you can eat cold and doesn't absolutely suck. So yeah, I need to go get ingredients. She's moving out her entire apartment right now. So she's gonna be staying with me for a few days. Of all the places, I'm so glad it was Kyoto. Like if she had to move away, I'm glad it was there because then I can go visit. And and she's gonna be with me like the night before the picnic and I have to prepare all the sandwiches. I hope she doesn't catch on like, girl, why are you making 20 sandwiches for three of us? We not gonna eat all that. I'm gonna have to think of something. I don't know yet, but yeah, let me go to the grocery store really quick. I gotta get back home because I have a bunch of packages coming. Today's video is in collaboration with Tokyo Treat and Sakurako. Instead of being greedy and hoarding all the snacks like I usually would, I decided I'm gonna take the Tokyo Treat box with me to the picnic. I'm not taking the Sakurako one. We're not sharing this mug. Um, matcha mochi, that's just a little too exciting for me to share. So this is mine. With the Tokyo Treat box, you'll get up to 20 of the latest, most exclusive limited edition and seasonal Japanese snacks that are only available in Japan for a limited time. Duchi, I can't see the box. And with Sakurako, you'll get 20 traditional, authentic artisan Japanese snack items, including Japanese teas and one special Japanese tableware. Both boxes come with this really cool booklet with all kind of information inside on the snacks, where they're from, who makes them, the ingredients. Very helpful. Oh, well, since the Tokyo Treat Box theme was Sakura Picnic, I thought it would be perfect for our picnic. It's delicious. Mm. This one's my favorite snack. Sunday is my favorite snack. <laughs> It's strawberry. Oh, so cute. I really like this. <laughs> oh! <laughs> it tastes both the banana and the caramel together. It's like a good mix. Sakurako helps in partnering with local Japanese snack makers to continue and share Japanese oh culture God. and traditions that have been passed down for hundreds of years. Use my code SUNDAY for $5 off of your first Sakurako or Tokyo Treat box through my link down below in the description box. Also, make sure you order by April 30th to receive this month's box. That was a tongue twister. Oh, there's a little, little girl. Look at that. Aesthetic. Oh my god, she's freaking cute. Run, yeah. girl, run. <laughs> Open! Oh, I did make an album. Oh my 
my god, look. Oh my god, that's so cute. Whoa, you put a lot of effort. <laughs> Wait, am I in every shot? Is that Remy? That's Remy. Oh my god, yeah. how cute. H&M because they have bras and I'm going to try to find one again and then I think afterwards we're gonna go meet up with everybody else they're getting boba right now but I was like I need to find bras it's very important You didn't eat the cartilage. Is it because of your skin color? <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you eat the cartilage, dude? Uh, because it's crunchy. Well, it's delicious. You eat that in this house! <laughs> <laughs> Let's do with this first. Oh god, pieces. I know. Oh, it's a remote! How exciting! Oh my god, it's awesome. Oh, YouTube, I can watch myself. We have... A bunch of screws. T4. <laughs> take it off, take it off. Woo! Even though the weather is so nice, it's a bit of a sad day. My friend Carla has finally left us. Actually ended up getting sick like always, of course, if I do too much activities. And usually I'm always sick by myself, but last night my friend Carla, of course, was staying with me, so she made me Filipino chicken soup. Um, hands down, the absolute best chicken soup I've ever had in my life. I'm just having some of this leftover soup. Oh my God, it is so bomb. I think she called it a rose caldo, if I'm not mistaken. And here I thought I done tried all the Filipino food. Y'all, I be edited on this tiny little screen and I had to zoom in to see if my wig was really just sitting on my head like this. The disrespect. So y'all just gonna be disrespected for, I don't know, a couple of minutes of the rest of this video because my wig really just sitting here like this. Decided it wanted to lift. It's not even leg day. Not only have I never tried this, but I also have never heard of it. I'm so mad because it's literally hands down the best chicken soup I've ever had in my entire life. Anything smothered or covered in lemon or lime, I'm probably gonna love. And garlic. My uh, recent obsession this year has been raw garlic. I eat like four cloves of raw garlic a day. But yeah, I'm sitting down here for once because look at Bay. 
finally gotten a TV. This has just like completely changed the dynamic of the living room. I am absolutely never in this room. I'm never in the living room. If I'm in the house, I'm rather working, sleeping, eating, or watching anime. I watch anime on my laptop upstairs in my bed. There's nothing in this room to make me be in here, you know what I mean? The office has my stuff, the bedroom has my bed, etc. And I grew up without a kitchen table, so we always ate our meals in our beds in front of the TV. So I usually eat upstairs. This is my first TV since living in Asia. So I haven't had a TV in like seven or eight years. I didn't have one when I lived in Korea either. Um, my friend coming over and also you guys were the motivation behind me finally getting a dang TV. On one of my last videos, I asked you guys to give me some like TV show, some human show recommendations. Y'all came through. Thank you. Oh my God, there were so, so many. And I was just like, yeah, I'm not watching all these on some tiny little laptop. I'm gonna finally give me a TV. So I did, I'm so happy. Oh my God, this TV is a vibe. I don't watch human shows very often and I'm very picky with my human shows. I don't like ghetto. I don't like guns. I don't like future stuff. I do like really old stuff, like stuff that took place in the past, if that makes any sense. So right now I'm watching The Witcher. I don't even know who recommended it, but also Carla recommended it. So we started watching it. Thank you so much, guys. It's great. And that man is way too fine for the TV. It should seriously be illegal to look that hot. But yeah, I'm so excited. We set it up the other day. I freaking love it. It's a smart TV, which I really don't understand what that means at all. I feel so behind. She has a name. I named her. She's Queen Ramen. I don't know why she needed a name. Maybe I could talk to it. I need to figure this thing out. Anyways, I'm gonna finish my life-changing soup and probably watch another episode of The Witcher.